very thing that I talked about right at the beginning, I did not do. So we got a call for a truck and a trailer that is stuck out here on the side of the road near Sand Hollow. We're gonna head out here, see if we can get it out. It's like 50 degrees, super nice day today, calm, sunny, great day to go do recovery. And we're gonna get them out. We got Peanut back there. I'm hoping that the Morver is tough enough to get this out. It's a pretty big rig. We'll see how it goes. Well, I broke this oh. CV on here, grabbed that trailer to come and pick it up and <laughs> dropped right in. So what we're gonna do on this one, cause it's pretty heavy and it's not gonna help a ton. We're gonna build a bridle, build a bridle out of one of the ropes and use the other one to, to do all the work. What do you think, Tom? One, one or two? Two. You're gonna say two, huh? Two for sure. What are you gonna say? One. One bump or two? Uh, one and a half to two. All right. <laughs> okay, put it in drive. Well, what do you think? That was one pull for sure. I didn't even need to go that hard. I thought it was a pretty solid pull. Yeah, it was a solid pull. So how do you get out of here anyhow? Well, we'll make sure you get out. I'm gonna load up that side by side. Let's get you up on the road first. Okay. So this is going to be a freeway in the future, a divided, you know, uh -oh. full-on freeway. This is the other kind of the roadbed for it. But they haven't prepped this for this, and this doesn't go all the way out. So I'm going to try to get out on the highway here if I can. I would rather not go down there, but we can if we have to. See, that's why I don't want to go that way. What do we got this way? Okay, move slow. This bear's hanging you up. You're good. I didn't think you were gonna make that one. There's kind of no way out of there because this one just drops off so far. I know, I didn't know. There. Yeah, I figured that one down to that road. It does, but this, this, that was like a four but foot drop. But it was drop. already dropping big time. That's why you definitely got through that spot. Okay, what's size of shirt do you want? Yeah, that'll be my second one now. <laughs> oh, this is your second? Well, I had a flat tire with the side by side. Last time. Yeah? We had a flatbed on it. Alrighty. Alright, well there thank you, you guys. <laughs> Another fur. That wasn't too bad. We got them pulled out of there and back on the road. That was a pretty rough place to have a camper that big. But we got it out of there. Matt was right, took one pull, I guess two. Lizzie, one and a half. It was one and a half, almost. <laughs> <laughs> so we got a call for a Dodge Ram truck that is stuck out here near Green Springs in Washington. This is like the Dodge recovery capital of the world apparently because that's all we've got out of here like recently. Yeah, Charger, Challenger. Couple trucks, SUVs. Dakota? 
Yeah, something. Anyway, we're heading over here to get it out. We got the lovely Jamie with us today. Hello. It's uh, partly cloudy, 50 degrees, and we've had a little bit of rain. It's been kind of nice. We don't get a lot of that rain. Nope, we don't. We got Tom Tom back here. Yep, enjoying the cool weather. It's my kind of day. Hey, this is Matt. I we're here. We're here at the vehicle. Okay, that's it. Yeah, I was supposed to call him five minutes before we got here, which I did not do. Oh, that back hatch is not shut. Matt does not like the rattles. He huh? hates them. I tore a whole XJ apart because of rattles. Well, at least we'll be all rigged up. Need a fast tires. The two wheel drive. What do we got for recovery hooks? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> they tried to get out. Get the bag. Oh, he has keys. How did they come in here? It looks like they came in this way. Okay. So Jamie, the way this one's gonna work, I'm gonna put you in that truck. this hooked up and then I'll show you what's going to happen and why I'm going to do some things that may be confusing to you. Okay, so you're going to turn this wheel all the way to the right. Okay. But as you come around, this, the angle of this rope is going to change to this and we'll rip that whole front bumper off. Okay. So the instant I stop pulling you, it's because of that. And then we're going to re- Connect. Okay. Do you want me to help at all or do you want to pivot it before? Um, I want you to help the right amount. And what would you guess that is? <laughs> a tiny bit. So when you're driving a vehicle in a low traction situation, as you're driving and controlling the vehicle, the vehicle's giving you feedback and telling you what it's doing so that you can reevaluate what you're doing. In a situation like this, I'm gonna have Jamie driving the truck and she's gonna be giving throttle inputs that are gonna be constantly changing based on what the truck tells her, if she's able to read those. So when she asks me what to do, I say do the right amount. And it, it sounds like I'm being like short and cute, but there's no way for me to tell her the hundred different calculations and permutations between the steering wheel and the throttle and what the truck's doing that she has to to do so i'm just going to leave it up to her to do the right thing oh, i'm on. sure i'm sure i'll do the right thing so there's there's two things that you can do you can push the gas too much or you can push right. it not right. enough right and not enough is preferable to too much right how are you doing, doing all right you almost made it i know but quarter more inch i'd have made it then i sunk it all the way to the frame Looks like you've been trying to get out for a little bit. Worked on it for about two hours and then aired down, strapped it up, put tie straps on the back and couldn't get it to move. Okay, see if you can turn your wheels all the way to the right. Is that it? That's all I can go. Okay, put it in drive. Hey. you a front bumper the very thing that I talked about right at the beginning that we were gonna re-rig as soon as we got it to move I did not do my fault okay I owe you a bumper what do you do on these I mean how do you avoid it that bumpers blocking everything well 
I would have come over here and hooked to this side. Can you turn the wheel all the way this way? size of shirt do you wear? It's almost perfect. <laughs> almost. <laughs> there you go. Right There's your mouth off right you. shirt. So like I was telling Jamie before we started the job that we were going to need to stop at a certain point and reconnect to avoid tearing the bumper and then I completely did not do that thing. So I'm very embarrassed, I'm very chagrined. You live and learn, and sometimes you do more living than learning. The good news is, we got them out. Thanks for watching. All right, let's head over to Big Mike's. We gotta go order that bumper that Matt ruined. I got a job for you. A job? Yeah, Matt ripped a bumper yesterday on a job we were on. Okay. So we just need to get one ordered and- Help. Did it rip it or did it- It ripped it. Or did you take a chunk out? Oh, right there. No, it just ripped it. Can you? Oh, I can fix it. You can fix that one? Yep. Easy peasy then. Thanks. All right.